All right. A one and a three. And I'll hold it and start screaming at me. Strongest punch, even though you're right handed. I want you to stand here, give me a, a, a five and a three. So, five, three, five, three, right? Okay, good job. Here's what I want you to do, son. I don't want you to hook the, the five up here. The five's gonna be like that. Uh -huh. So, Give me a good stiff stab and then oh, okay. a great three, and a great right hook. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here's what I want you to do, Joe. Basically, maybe instead of a five, you're doing a five, right? I just want to see this straight motion, so. Okay, give me the five and the three, and then come back and give me a one and the three. That's my, my mess up to you. Sorry about that. There's a five, two, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a five, three, there you go. Five. Do it as fast as you can. Throw oh, some working okay. speed on it. There you go. Oh, you. I'm going to come around here and hold it for you. So just give me like a five and a three. And a, there you go. Some guys have done 
and won't let the who there's farm with it them back. So give me a, a give me the same thing. Let's do the same thing. Almost as hard as like somebody like Garcia right now, right? And they're saying pound for pound, he's the hardest puncher, even better than Canelo. You're hitting, you're hitting almost as hard as he is. The thing that's carrying him through is that velocity that he has. He's very fast. He's not a very fast boxer, but he's set and through that right hook. Enough and enough and enough and enough that he just knows when to smack it out. And that's what we mean by uh, not dropping your your left because you see, if I'm throwing a, a right hook here, it's because the other guy's dropped his left. And that's why in this sport, we never ever, the cardinal golden rule is drop your hands. If, you, if you're away from the guy, you might be able to lay your hands down to rest your hands, right? And I don't care what you got to do. If you got to dance around the ring, right? Dance around the ring to hold your hands straight because you need to do that for a few seconds. Ten, I don't care, do it. And then pull yourself together and get back on that guy. See what I'm saying? And try to make it like if you're towards the end of the round, say, you know, your arms quit working on you, that you know how they burn, and you've been through this. So you drop them, if you need to drop them, you need to be able to dance. That's why I say if you can't box, you can't dance, and you can't, you need to be able to get away from people. And you gotta do what you gotta do to survive in that ring. So let's see what that's about. Uh, give me a one, a four, and a five. That's good. Okay, give me a one and a, a, a give me a one and a, a two and a three. is when we start working when you start doing body work and stuff like that right you're going through these things beautifully but what I want you to keep up even if you're up on it is to make sure you get that jab out and if you're not going to throw this jab like this and get a good extension on it and you know you like that sunny listening thing you tell me get that extension out right so maybe back off the back and maybe pop and then come up and do whatever you need to do. Or what you need to think about is boxers are going to be standing like this. They're going to be doing like this and they're going to be moving. So what I'm not seeing a lot of people do today, but I used to see when I was a kid, guy be standing right there and he'd go, poof. And you don't necessarily have to move anything. You don't have to move it like an uppercut. You don't have to go like getting some flick in your wrist or an overhand punch. These guys just go boom, right? And you catch them. These are the two primary knuckles you're supposed to use. If you catch somebody down here by going boom, right? Boom, you hand will flatten up with it and just throw it like that if you think you need to. You see what I'm doing? Ooh. Yeah. So one, three, and five. One, three, five. Yeah. A one, excuse me, a one, two, and three. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Go ahead and do that. Well, just let me get over here to this side of the bag because it's. people that watch these videos can feel the wind coming off of your gloves where you're 
I don't just don't know how if the strength is showing up on video, but it's showing up with us, and that's what counts. There you go. That's good. All right, we'll move on to uh, something else here.